Welcome to the Librarian Podcast. I'm your librarian, Rupert Gadd. Today we're talking graphic novels. Today we're talking definitions. We're going to talk about a few of the things you might find inside a graphic novel. Let's start with the panels. The most obvious thing about a graphic novel is that parts of the novel on a page are divided into boxes. Those boxes are called panels. Each panel represents a moment of time within the world of the novel. The spaces in between the panels are called the gutter. A lot happens in the gutter. A lot happens from one picture to the next that isn't drawn, and it's up to the reader to fill in those gaps. In a graphic novel, the words and the pictures work together, but it also works together with the reader's imagination. The reader must imagine what is happening between each of the panels. They must imagine what's happening in the gutter. Let's talk about the kind of shots you might see in a panel. The shot is the way that the picture is composed. You can think of it like a shot in a movie. There's three main kinds of shots that you'll find in a graphic novel. A long shot, also called an establishing shot, a medium shot, and a close-up. The long shot is used at the beginning of a chapter to show what's going to happen. It shows, as the name suggests, a wide section of the environment, and the characters might be very small. This means we don't see a lot of detail about the characters, but we see a lot about where they are and what they're doing. A medium shot is a shot of the characters. Maybe they're full bodies, but not much more. It shows us the action the character's doing, and it's good for showing interactions between characters. The closest shot we see here is a close-up. We may see just the character's face, we may see just the top half of the character, or in an extreme close-up, we might just see their face. A close-up lets us show the expression of the character and helps us figure out what they're thinking. These shots all work together to tell the story. Let's look at an example. Jeff Smith's book, Bone, uses all these shots just in the first chapter. Jeff Smith holds his book together by starting each chapter with the same kind of shot, a long, establishing shot with inset panels showing close-ups. That way we know where the character is, but we also know how they're feeling and what they're thinking about. We see that the Bone cousins are arguing, and when we come in close to their faces to see if they're angry or frustrated or smug, we can see those expressions on their face and the background drops away, dropping to just blue. This way, the writer isolates just the characters and we get a good idea of what they're doing. So, pick up your favorite graphic novel today, take a look and see if you can identify a long shot, a medium shot, and a close-up shot. That's all for today on the Librarian Podcast.